While many call the conviction of former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin justice, activists say the fight is far from over and there's more work to be done. Earlier, I spoke with Black Lives Matter co-founder Opal Tometi about what it was like to navigate this trial and why now is the moment to keep moving forward in addressing racial injustice. We heard about the verdict. Um, convicting Derek Chauvin in a murder that we know that he did. And so it was almost like, you know, reading the weather, we knew that he did it. And so having him held accountable for his actions was incredibly important for the millions of people who rose up and took to the streets around the world. So I think this for, for many of us was just like a, a real sigh of relief, um, a real sense of vindication, something that we knew needed to happen. It was absolutely necessary. And yet the fact that we were sitting on pins and needles for you know weeks on end, wondering whether or not this man would be found guilty was um, is also deeply disturbing. It, it speaks to some of the uh, challenges in our society and challenges with policing overall. So, you know, I'd say first, you know, I'm glad, I'm glad he was found guilty. That was the right thing on all charges. And then secondly, I would be remiss if I didn't mention that there are many other people who have been killed by, at the hands of police during that trial. And so we know that the challenges are profound, they're systemic. Um, it's not just a one and done. This is not a transformative moment. This is one, um, it, uh, incident where we are finally seeing accountability, um, yet true justice would require the system change. Of course, the day of the Derek Chauvin verdict, we heard about Micaiah Bryant, who was fatally shot by police officers in Columbus, Ohio. Today is Dante Wright's funeral. The list of names unending. What does that rapid succession of names mean to you about policing in America? Sadly, it's a testament to the fact that our work is far from over. You know, we started Black Lives Matter over seven years ago now, and clearly the work, yes, has gained momentum, yes, more visibility, yes, you know, more notoriety and, and public praise and acclaim and you know, Nobel Prize nomination and all those sorts of things. Yet the fact is, if Black people can still be, you know, gunned down in the street, they can still uh, be killed with impunity. We still have a real systemic challenge on our hands, and we're going to need real uh, transformative policy changes in order to address that. And to me, seeing those names, um, hearing the stories just this past week, week and a half, two weeks, has broken my heart, and we can't seem to even really rest and celebrate the, the, the verdict before getting another story of a young Black girl being killed at the hands of uh, police. What kind of work do you think needs to be done to really uh, put a stop to the police brutality that we've seen again, time and time again in this country? Black communities deserve to be invested in. We need job opportunities. We need health services. Um, we need mental health uh, uh, first responders. We need other types of solutions that look at Black people with the respect and the dignity that they deserve. We're, of course, hearing calls to abolish or defund the police, with many saying after the verdict that abolition was the mission. Where do you sit with that? My hope is that we continue to ask the tough questions, to be grown-ups, and to do the work of transforming our society where we can have a multiracial democracy that works for all of us. And so it's it's step by step, and I and I hope that we will see a, a world in which we we don't need police anymore, right? Where we're we see and we are defining safety in a more broad and, and comprehensive way, where we're looking at solutions to challenges in our community um, in a more dignified manner. And I think we can do that, but I do think that's gonna take, you know, that's gonna take commitment, that's gonna take experimentation. And just like we've invested, you know billions of dollars in one arena, I say, like, why don't we take those resources and begin to experiment with other solutions that might be out there that we haven't tested, we haven't um, given them the opportunity to try out in all of these years. Clearly, this isn't working. Clearly, we've seen, we've seen what is going on. We see the status quo. 
And, you know, it's enough. It's time to try something new. I can't thank you enough for joining us. We, we so appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. Thank you.